Alcohol ink stamped ornaments is one of the best ways to add a little shine and holiday cheer to your Christmas tree. Coming up in this tutorial right now. Merry Christmas all Wild for Games coming at you from my creative control playlist where I bring you the best tips, tricks, and even tutorials just like this one here. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for when my videos go live. Today we're going to be dipping into our alcohol and I'm not talking about eggnog, we're going to be using alcohol inks to stamp on top of glass ornaments. This is a great way to add a little bit of shine to your Christmas tree. First things first, we have to coat the inside of our glass ornament. And to do that, we're gonna use some basic white acrylic. I have some already mixed up in this cup right here. It's just basic acrylic right from the tube or from your bottle. I just find it easier to pour in with a cup because I can kind of funnel it. All you just need to do is pour it in through the nipple part of the glass ornament at a 45 degree angle and allow the paint to grip all on the inside of the wall as you pour the paint make sure to turn your globe clockwise or counterclockwise. This will allow the paint to actually grab onto the walls more. If you don't get a thorough coverage, don't worry. You can always grab an extra paper towel, fold it up and cover the nipple end of the glass globe and shake the paint that is all inside there, all around. And this will ensure that you have a thorough coverage all on the inside of your Christmas glass ornament here. Once this is all thoroughly coated, make sure that you set it aside and allow to dry. I would recommend at least 24 hours, even though it may only take a couple of hours. When your Christmas ornament is all dry, it is time to stamp and to stamp it, I'm gonna use this alcohol ink kit that I picked off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. That's where the cheapest way is to find it. But all you do is remove the stamp, apply the felt to the end of the stamp, and this is what's gonna be our palette, more or less, that we use to stamp the ink on. All you do is you take the colors from your kit. Each kit will come with its own variety of colors depending where you bought it. For the colors I'm going to use, I'm gonna use the red and yellow that came with it, but feel free to mix your own on the plastic sheet that it comes with. All you do is take a few drops, and literally only a few drops, all around, spread it out across that felt pad there, and then do the same with the alternative color that you're gonna use. I like to use no more than three colors on a pad, but I actually think it looks best with just two, because the two colors are gonna make a third when they overlap. But feel free to experiment around with your own ornament. When your felt is nice and wet, all you need to do is literally just stamp it onto the glass. There are a few different techniques that you can do. The one I'm gonna do is I kinda roll it as I stamp it on. And what this does is it adds a little bit of a crackling effect across the globe. Now be careful, if you go too fast, your stamp will kinda slip and slide around because it's felt on glass, so it's not really the most friction surface. So go nice and slow. When you start losing a lot of the color that's on the end of the felt, all you just need to do is reapply the ink. Just do a few drops at a time and keep tackling the piece as you go through it. And roll those stamp motions through until you've got a nice thorough coverage around your whole globe. And just a side note, you don't have to cover the entire globe with ink oil. It's okay if the white shows through. It actually looks really good when white shows through. And also on a side note, don't worry about if you actually touch the inks. The moment you apply the ink, it almost evaporates and dries instantaneously. So don't be worried if you're gonna touch your inks because it will probably be dry if you do touch it. But I do recommend wearing some gloves because it just makes it a little bit easy in case you touch your skin. Now that our Christmas ornament is all covered and it looks fabulous and great and those colors just shine and pop right off, we have to let it dry. Even though it's alcohol ink and it will dry extremely fast, I wanna make sure it dries for a couple hours. So I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and grab it between this A-clamp here so it stands nice and straight and then put my snow globe nipple right through it so that way it's got a nice little stand that way the air can get it really clean and that way it's good to go and I can work on my next one. 
Now through the power of the internet, I went ahead and already did another one. You don't have to put the white acrylic on the inside of your ornament if you don't want to. You can actually make a transparent ornament. And I already did one that I'm gonna show you right here. I just use green and red, and I use the same stamping application where I let the crackle go through. And this looks fabulous on a tree because when you put the lights on it and the light shines through it, it cascades into all these different beautiful colors. When your Christmas ornaments are all dry from the alcohol ink, we wanna give it a nice protective coating. And to do that, I'm gonna use this gloss protective coater that I picked up at my local craft store. It's gonna give it a nice gloss shine, and it's also gonna give it a nice protective coating on those alcohol inks. All you need to do is put on a rubber glove, put your finger through the nipple, and give it a nice spray all the way around. You only need one good coating, but you can do two if you'd like, and this is gonna go on very glossy. So make sure you don't overdo it, but make sure you get a nice thorough coating as you do the whole orb. Once it's all nice and coated, let it dry for a couple hours and set it on your Christmas tree and next to your lights and it's gonna look beautiful. I've got a couple that I've got here and some beautiful shots and they look great. I hope you guys enjoy and try these yourselves. Happy holidays to you and your family and friends out there. I hope you guys give this tutorial a nice try because it will look fabulous on your tree and it'll give that little extra pop that's gonna separate you from everyone else out there. I hope you guys like this. If you did, give it a nice thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe, it helps me grow. Also, if you wanna keep up with me, you can follow me on all of my social media, on Twitter and Instagram, plus that's where I post all the pictures that I do of my tutorials, plus the art that I work on. If you wanna watch me paint, you can follow me on Twitch. I paint there all the time. And if you guys wanna help me out so much, I put a link down below of all the supplies I use that you can help support this channel by clicking through. And if you wanna buy any of my art, link is below as well. I will see you guys in the next painting tutorial. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you out there. Peace.